This is Wendy Tarofi. If you see my face for the very first time, yeah, Juanita is my name. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always stopping by. Okay, quick one. I recently had um, a combo brows, yeah, a micro blading and a micro shading together, right? But it was uh, <laughs> a semi permanent makeup gone wrong, alright? So, from my experience, I would like to, you know, shed more light. So, before you go through the whole process, before you do a semi permanent makeup, you need to watch this video, alright? Okay, I'll start by saying before you book an appointment with your um, who I call it or with the person that with the artist that's supposed to do your brow number one you make sure that you read reviews about that person it doesn't necessarily have to be about the price you might get don't be like me you use price to know the person knows how to do work or not okay so to avoid you wasting your money you check reviews if it's on instagram you check what the person has done on my own part i checked i checked the person's videos pictures on her page i saw that it was nice yeah so and it was closer to me because i didn't want to really go too far I didn't want to go too far like to get it done so i just looked for someone close and i went to do it all that's how the mistake happened number one she got the mapping wrong you know i was even saying that i should have even did the mapping myself it's something <laughs> i don't know i was actually doing it myself in the first instance when she did the mapping i corrected her i told her that i preferred this one but then she made this one as long as to here and this one as long as to here i do not like it the reason why it's even looking better off is i used my concealer to you know try to correct the mistake so whenever i'm going out or i have a serious thing then i can use my concealer that's the idea now so my lovelies okay guys so make sure you, after you check your brows that's it yeah but just make sure the person is good you do to avoid stories that touch like me it's just that i don't really take things to heart yeah so i just try to look for solutions to make it better all right so this video will have i would include or i will leave um the progress from the one the healing process how it looked from when i did the brows to now yeah do i stop doing the progress report because at day five or six it was looking the same i think it had already healed by then it had already peeled and i think another thing is before you do the brows it also depends on your skin type my kind of skin yeah it didn't really peel as much as the way someone else's skin will peel and the healing process was really fast in a week everything was fine yeah some people it takes up to two weeks for them to heal based on my research so far yeah so i would say you should be patient so that's basically it. okay guys another thing i want to make my sure is some people are scared of semi-permanent brows okay before you do it yeah you have to know that it's not painful <laughs> okay don't mind me it's not painful because of the numbing cream that's applied to your brows so it's a bit painful but not so painful like when it's the numbing cream starts wearing off you will notice that you'll be feeling it yeah as you're doing it but it's not so bad when you feel the 
mild pain is when it wears up by the time you're done you just feel like maybe there's a an injury you know that's how you feel it's not something that is unbearable you can take it <laughs> So <laughs> that's by the way guys it's not painful so it's something you can do or you can stand if they use a good numbing cream and then another thing you should know is some people's skin i don't know it might not um it might not work so you have to use a very good numbing cream another thing you should take into consideration is check um the pigment they are going to use for you the color that the ink or whatever that they use for the girl used black not black per se but she used really really dark brown and i don't really like dark brown dark brown doesn't go with my complexion you know so you check before they use to avoid the results <laughs>